So the New York Magazine piece on the body sex groups is out and very out. positive and we're excited. Yeah. I have major reservations about... She was freaking out the morning of. She was like, no, Carla, I don't no, like this. No, because I've, <laughs> I've been ripped off too many times. I had this one gal who wrote a piece called Getting Into Bed With My Sex Therapist. It's a good title, though. Well, all right, it's a good title. You, you people, and you're one of them. You will do anything to get someone's attention. Well, because then they can read the article. And what I loved about her piece, though, is that she got all the information in there. And their genital show and tell, vagin uh, clitoral stimulation with well. vaginal yeah. penetration, and then your rock and roll technique. Yeah, I was happy about that. I was, she got it all. I mean, everything that's really important well, about your work. The reason I went along with it is that I ended up on the Bill O'Reilly show, which is a whole other story. I mean, well, sometimes negative press is good. When you can be negative honest. press <laughs> will cause people to... Pay attention. And I despise it. And No, I do. I think it's disgusting. Well, I have to admit, it was hard. There, there were moments during the group that I thought, this could be taken the wrong way. Oh, really? <laughs> right? And unless you're in the room, you don't understand why it's so powerful and why it's so necessary. It was very interesting to me. So when the article got syndicated out and feminist sites across the blogosphere were talking about it, even on Jezebel, the writer was saying, she was like, I would never, I would never take ever. a body sex workshop and um, be nude and masturbate in front of women. This is a woman, a woman, who's still competing with women. Well, let's, let's kind of talk about why it's so powerful, because you see the faces of the women change from day one to day two. Yeah. It's like all the tension drains from the face. It, the, the whole concept of being nude is that you don't have all of your accoutrement, your jewelry, your makeup, your outfit, the, the designer label, the blah, blah, blah. You're just you. You just are who you are. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's exhilarating. And this is what I experienced in Group 6 in the 60s and 70s and throughout all the years that I ran the body sex groups. When you make yourself vulnerable, you can connect to other people. Isn't that interesting? Vulnerability means that you are open to be who you really are, not who you would like people to think you are. It's like the social self melts away. There you are, who you are. Just plain and simple, this is me. Nothing else. So what does that do? So you do that, and what is the benefit? Well, what happens, what I've seen over the years, and I've done that, you know. 40, we did the math at 42 years. 42 years. She's been doing this. The genital show and tell, when we display our vulvas, and... Talk about our fears, talk about the things that we thought were wrong, talk about what we liked and all that. And then we go through kind of a naming ritual. Yeah, where each woman chooses a name for her. And the naming name. ritual is just, it is, what do they call it when you have a, um, a christening? Yeah. We're naming, we're naming our vulvas. And once that takes place. It's a really beautiful moment. I sense sisterhood across the board. You feel so connected to each woman. A woman, you do. It just it's it's so far beyond sexual. It has nothing to do. No, with it's and that's what I wanted to. I think that they were getting wrong. It's not sexual. It's she not did make one comment about you know the the to her the group massage was the most challenging. Really, because she really loved that. I was in her group because it was. That's four why of us. it was challenging. So now it's like, oh, I'm being touched. By strange, but it's non-sexual touch. It's just group of honey. Stuff. Women don't get much non-sexual touch. That's true. Any any time we're being touched, there's an agenda. They're going for the pussy. There's also an expectation that you have to perform or do something, and that's not there yeah. in the body. Respond sex or yeah, you're naked and it doesn't matter. No one's coming on to you. No, you know, yes, you're sharing masturbation, but it's so that you can learn more about yourself and your body. It's you're doing yourself. Everybody else is doing themselves. Yeah. And it has nothing about par partner sex is so far out of the room, it doesn't exist. Women don't understand that. And I don't think most women get an opportunity to have a sexual experience like that. No, it is okay. a group sex experience, but only in terms of your with yourself. And you're sharing your sexuality in a room with other women. It's it's holy, it's sacred, it's precious, it's Oh, thank it's you the for, sisterhood. Thank you for pushing me to do this. Okay, so we've been inundated with requests because women want to be in the group. So I've talked Betty into doing three more groups in the spring. So we're thinking the last weekends in March, April, and May. Well, here's the thing. You're either going to cure me or kill me. <laughs> I know. We're I like, know. we have to do it. We're just, we're just getting so many requests that I think we have to do. And then I look back on 
with all the social network, how easy it is to do enrollment today. I had to go out on the street and beat the bushes. No, this is going to be easy. So we're going to do three more groups. So if you want to do a group, there's an opportunity. I'll stick the email at the end of this. Come join us. Come experience feminists, sisterhood that never happened. But now it can. We'll bring it home.